Hey friends, Pastor Bill Walden here with Build Up the Church. God bless you. This is a devotional word for April 25th, 2024. This is out of the Gospel of Luke chapter 20, a little bit at the end of Luke chapter 20, and then on into Luke chapter 21. So in Luke chapter 20, we see Jesus teaching about the negative mindset, the negative thinking, the negative actions, the negative attitudes of many of the religious rulers in a first century Israel. Jesus said this about the scribes, Luke chapter 20, verse 45, then in the hearing of all the people, he said to his disciples, so he's saying this in front of everybody so everybody can hear, beware of the scribes who go around in long robes. They love greetings in the marketplaces, the best seats in the synagogues, and the best places at feasts. Boy, you just never want to hear Jesus say, watch out for, and then your name fills in the blank. You never want to hear that. But Jesus here was calling these guys out in public because what they did was extremely damaging. They were supposed to be representing God to the people. Instead, they were serving themselves, justifying themselves, defending their actions, not loving people, in fact, hating non-Jews. And they were just a terrible example of what it means to be a godly man. So Jesus said, they go around in long robes. That was for a show of piety. They didn't have piety in their heart. They just pretended they were hypocritical. They love greetings in the marketplaces, the best seats in the synagogues, the best places at the feasts. They love to have the preeminence. They love the attention. They love the admiration of men and women. Jesus then said, they devour a widow's houses. A Jewish teacher was not allowed to charge for his teaching but they certainly would not miss the opportunity to make a suggestion that maybe somebody could give them an offering. And so apparently here, that's what was happening. And they were devouring the houses of widows. They were preying upon those who had the least. And for a pretense, they make long prayers. These will receive the greater condemnation. So there are degrees of condemnation. There are degrees of judgment in the mind and in the economy of God. That's the negative side of this devotional. The positive side is in the next few verses of chapter 21. And Jesus looked up and saw the rich putting their gifts into the treasury. And so they were at the temple there, people making their public offerings to God. And he also saw a certain poor widow putting in two mites. Now in that day, two mites would equal 1% of a day laborer's pay. So think about what a construction worker might make these days or a UPS driver, something like that. 1% of what they would make in one day, that's what she was putting in. So it wasn't a large amount, uh, financially a large amount, but sacrificially it was a huge amount for her. So he said, truly I say to you that this poor widow has put in more than all, not because it was more in total, but more in sacrifice and more in a demonstration of love, a demonstration of adoration to God and support for the things of God. Verse 4, for all these out of their abundance have put in offerings for God. They did it out of their abundance. It probably was not sacrificial. It probably was barely missed. But Jesus said she out of her poverty put in all the livelihood that she had. God is not concerned so much with the amounts that we give to him for his kingdom and for his purposes. And God doesn't need the money, but we have an opportunity to be a part of what God is doing in the world by supporting a local church where the truth should be heard and where people can be loved and come and find answers, by supporting missionary work around the world, by supporting the publication of Christian materials, by helping those who are in need, uh, building an orphanage, helping to build a hospital or a school, or dig a well somewhere where there's no water or no clean water. So God doesn't need our money, but he allows us to co-labor with him. And as we do that, some of us might give some larger amounts, but oftentimes it's done out of our abundance and it's not done sacrificially. Jesus made special note, please take note, Jesus made a special note that this woman gave sacrificially. And so if you take the time to read over in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, you see the Apostle Paul teaching about the grace of giving, that God gives us grace 
to give away that which is ours for the benefit of, other, of others, for the benefit of the kingdom of God. And he says there's three aspects to it. So take note. It should be done sacrificially. That which costs us little isn't really much of an offering to God. So may you give to the Lord sacrificially. May it cost you something because then it's precious to you and it's precious to him. May it be done regularly with determination, with deliberation, not as an afterthought, but as a forethought. Set the money aside. It says of the early church, they would gather the money up each week, that which was set aside. And then finally, do it cheerfully. The Bible is very clear about that. God loves a cheerful giver. So if you can't give to the Lord cheerfully, may I suggest don't give at all. It's not that the church or an orphanage or a hospital can't use your money. They can. But as far as it being an offering of love to God, it's really not. So you don't want to give begrudgingly. So three things. Do it sacrificially. Do it deliberately. Do it cheerfully. And you'll be walking in the pattern of this poor widow who had hardly anything, but whom Jesus commended greatly. So some things to think about. Thanks for watching.